Hi, Joe Alton, MD here, also known as Dr. Bones of the survival website doomandbloom.net and co-author of the brand new, greatly expanded fourth edition of the Survival Medicine Handbook, plus designer of quality medical kits at store.doomandbloom.net. As of the end of 2021, the SARS-CoV-2 virus has been the scourge of the modern world for two full years. New variants like Omicron inject the sense of urgency to finding treatments for those people that are infected. And important among these is an oral therapy effective enough to minimize hospitalizations and deaths. Not too long ago, I wrote about the development by Merck Pharmaceuticals, the maker of ivermectin, of an oral COVID-19 treatment called molnupiravir. Molnupiravir inhibits coronavirus replication inside the body by inserting errors in viral genetic code. As more and more genetic material is produced, it causes what's called an error catastrophe that completely prevents viral replication. At the time, clinical trials were reporting a 50% decrease in severe disease in COVID patients taking molnupiravir compared to placebo. Since then, however, the drug's fortunes have slipped somewhat. Current evidence has modified the effectiveness against COVID-2 down to about 30%. Better than nothing, but given the lackluster results with molnupiravir, a better alternative was needed. This comes in the form of a Pfizer pharmaceutical combination drug known as Paxlovid. Paxlovid is a combination of the experimental drug Nermatrelvir, don't ask me how to pronounce that correctly, and the HIV drug Ritonavir. The Ritonavir allows Nermatrelvir to remain active in the body at higher concentrations for a longer period of time. Like molnupiravir, Paxlovid also stops viral replication, but in a different way. It acts by binding to enzymes called proteases. Without protease, viruses can't reproduce. Given the importance of these enzymes, the new drug actually could have potential against future outbreaks of related viruses like SARS or other coronaviruses. This potential is suggested by an ongoing study called EPIC-HR. EPIC-HR originally published results showing an 85% reduction in hospitalization and a 100% decrease in deaths in those taking Paxlovid compared to placebo. Even later data increased effectiveness, not decreased like it did with molnupiravir, to 90%, almost, well, 89%, if taken in the first three days of symptoms, 88% if taken in the first five days, even against the Omicron variant. Adverse reactions include headaches and muscle aches, about the same as molnupiravir. If approved, a dose of 300 milligrams of nermatrelvir and 100 milligrams of ritonavir would be given twice a day for five days. As with many antiviral drugs, treatment should begin at the first sign of symptoms or after a suspected exposure. If taken too late, the benefits are greatly diminished. The newly developed drugs won't be cheap, costing at least several hundred dollars per treatment. Compared to hospital costs, however, or even intravenous infusions of monoclonal antibodies or the FDA-approved drug remdesivir, it's still a bargain. Pfizer expects to produce 80 million courses of therapy by the end of 2022. Is that going to be enough? Of course, ivermectin is still out there as a cheap and effective alternative, at least according to the physicians of the Frontline COVID Critical Care Alliance. I agree with them on this and wish that ivermectin was taken more seriously by the mainstream medical authorities. So when will Paxlovid be available? Pfizer expects an answer from the FDA about authorization by the end of December 2021. And pending approval, millions of doses are already manufactured and ready to go. In the next year, expect a number of other new COVID drugs emerging. Hopefully, one or more will pan out to be effective strategies against the pandemic virus. This is Joel Nemdi, that old Dr. Bones, wishing you the best of health and good times or bad. Thanks for watching. Hey, are you medically prepared for the uncertain future? Find out what you need to know in a long-term disaster with a copy of the brand new, greatly expanded fourth edition of the Survival Medicine Handbook, available at Amazon and at store.doomandbloom.net. You'll be glad you did.